maintained it in the way that they have, rather than taking advantage of the RD 1.5, where they could actually have multiple um, structures. They could, they could, it's up, set for multiple. So that's all I have. Gosh, Discussion. Well, we can ask questions now, and we can go to discussion. Any questions um, first. I, I drove Gary today, and um, I don't find any reason why we shouldn't have
don't even know if you can have that activity at two in the morning. Uh, so there's some real breach of ordinance here, which I think goes even beyond what uh, they're asking us And I think that really for the community, I think that the, the owner should be held to the standards of working within business hours. And that's not necessarily, I'll call code enforcement to see if anybody, because I know that was happening in my neighborhood, I call code enforcement and they'd write a citation and they would tell them to stop doing that and obviously enforce it. So I will find out if, there's, if the neighbor is called at, to report this. Yes, them. and that is, that is a good point. If there is that problem of unloading taking place at two in the morning, then unloading on Lamona, as, as we heard, contact us or contact the council office. Right now, we're in a in an interim period where there's virtually no council support because we have one council office leaving, another one coming in, but soon we'll have them back. In the meantime, you can contact us and uh, we talk with them, we know where to find them, and we can get the enforcement, but you're entitled to enforcement. Nobody should be unloading at 2 in the morning. And, uh, so
I would suggest that you go back to the boards to redo it because the plant you're suggesting really won't form a visual buffer between your park and the parking lot or from the alley to the parking lot. You need something about three feet in height. I, I was out there the other day looking at the <clears throat> relatively undeveloped piece. It's right across the street. There's weeds and things. And so I was fighting between more plants and zero scale. So I think with, even with zero, zero scale, you could still have really plant more. material that has a little more visual buffer. You don't want it to be too high because you want the safety of being able to see into it, but you want to sort of mitigate the curse of the Well, I figured I had some levels, but I could increase. They're quite large sizes, too, so it wasn't. They were meant to be more like clumps in an island of you know, crushed granite and not to do so much. They don't let us do ground cover anymore. No, but you can, you can do plants that are zero scale that will give you. Well, I would, it would be up for any recommendations for clients. I know. Like I said, Jack Irving is my favorite, but it's been here. Um, I know Shannon is not yet in the picture, but Shannon, you have a Yeah, I, I know. I think to the city, we're doing the change of use and the facade improvement, and that basically includes everything outside of the building. So, what group do you need from us? Basically, just a yay or a nay. Um, Whether you want to use or not. Change of use. Yeah. Change of use is what you're asking here. Okay. Um, you said one point with eight bicycle tracks and here's this core bicycle Mayor, what kind of I don't know if When we went to CMS, there was some confusion when I put in eight bicycle spaces in the How many parking spaces? Two. Two is two. Two. Okay. So one, originally I put in four, thinking four of them. Okay. So we are, do you remember the total bike parking? Yeah, I think we gave them two spaces for one. So it's going to be eight. So eight, so eight, so eight, eight, and two eight are bicycle eight. spaces in lieu of two parking spaces. And where are your bike um, tracks? Well, we were talking about putting them around into a boulevard, but they told us we have to make sure we the, for the tree. That, right. yeah. We have a tree. We were kind of we tried to put the outside seating area so that it took advantage of the tree. Mm -hmm. and so we have a long sort of area along the street there. It'd be great if you could fit at least some bike parking. In the that was the point. I mean, okay. that would, that's what brings us up to our goal. Okay. I'm glad we have that. We have 12 here. We have 12 parking spots in the new parking lot, and then three behind the building and a handicap. And but you're dedicating two of those spaces. No, they need two more. You need two more still there. Yeah. Ah, two more spaces. So you're going to try to squeeze in the bicycle ground somewhere. We have 50 feet in front. I have a question. In your parking plan, why aren't you taking your planning in these little triangles between the spaces? That's a, that's a good question. Um, it's going to make it more attractive. Well, right now it's, it's, it's a completely and totally paved concrete walk. So I was hesitant to start soft cutting the area with the parking lot that were already existing. So in, in some of my earlier ideas, I put I had a green space in As I looked at how the cars have to drive over it, that's why I limited it except for the front area. So, because originally I had shown landscaping in each one of those triangles, mm -hmm. but then I thought maybe it might become more of a maintenance issue. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd have to look at some of those parking lots and how many fences we have on both sides of us and needs and things that aren't being taken care of. So the idea is to create, I thought it created a nice buffer on each edge, but 
they could come back and say, this is their image, this is what they would like to see, and we could reject that. That's not really structural. I mean, I understand aesthetic is important because it's what you see, but it's something that I think we should kind of leave the open up to until we know who's going to be there and discuss with that. I think right now what they need is approval for change of use. We're going to see them when they have a new tenant anyway because they're going to be so they're going to be getting a liquor license. Exactly. They're going to be doing other signage things. Signage too. You're going to see signage, signage too. We have to do, take care of signage. Plan review board does not. So uh, they'll be back. But, but it is the important part. The very most aesthetic. That canopy is. That bit of color that got killed was chosen for a really specific reason. I try to use the 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 road in that way. It's Marina Delray. It's Marina Delray Blue. It's approving it without having the landscaping that brick. Maybe we. I don't know. Can we? Can we approve the reuse and and say that? The committee that they have to come back for, for landscaping? Well, uh, we can say that, but that's not what planning's going to do. I, 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 I sincerely doubt that they may, they may want to commit, and, and I understand they're honest people, they'll do it, but I don't see planning setting up a revolving door. What if we agree to bring what we bring back to planning incorporates your recommendation? Well, I don't. That would be fine, except planning doesn't know one plan from another. No, we. <laughs> we, 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 we <laughs> well, you say that. I mean, they you say that, but we work very carefully. They don't know a cactus from an oak tree. Planning yeah. looked at that and said, "Oh, those lily of the Nile are great." No, no, no. They just wanted to know there was something there that addressed it. Yeah, so I know. You guys are the. Are you doing landscaping? Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't trust planning to, to routine landscape. They, they don't have many experts in the planning department, I, landscape architects. I, I don't trust planning to count the number of parking spaces. <laughs> so I don't quite know how to work this. I'm in favor of the use. I think that you've done a wonderful job. I just have some issues I'd like to see the parking area be better. If I could suggest some choices, and then uh, we, could, we could approve a change of use now and let them come back when they have a tenant, because they're going to have to do it anyway. Uh, we could tell them get a tenant and then come back. And we'll look at, we think we may look at it favorably depending on the tenant and the design. Or we could say no, or we could come up with something else. Your choice. You're saying that prior to the tenant, now to, to approve a change of use, and we'll get the tenant first, and then we'll come back with the change. Your choice. I think that's that's unrealistic. I mean, it's going to want to. I mean, it's going to be very hard. The change of use is going to be the first thing to get a viable tenant. And we're all fine with that. Yeah. Well. I'm still not sure. I'm, I'm a little concerned. The only thing I'm concerned about is that uh, you're, what I'm seeing, and if and that any tenant you're going to get just one of the restaurants is going to want to have that uh, patio seating in the front. And you're suggesting that you can get eight bicycles parking and put patio seating in the front doesn't seem very realistic to me. And I don't see in the back where you've got it dedicated. Now, same thing. We'll let the planning come up and figure out the parking may work, but you're short two parking spots. Back and you're going to put any back I don't, you haven't really shown where you're going to put it. I think the, um, the tunnel for the tree on the insured boulevard, it's, uh, it's going to be between the. Uh, that's, public, that's a public right away. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The bus, correct, and by then there'll be next one. Do they accept bicycle parking in the public right away? It's not so in lieu of your no, two parking spaces on your property. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
conceptually on bicycles, in reality, we don't get what we ask for. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to kind of see something. And, and we had the same thing with the sushi restaurant at Woodman and Ventura. Right. Mm -hmm. so. They had a handicapped parking space in the front. When they got to planning, planning mm -hmm. said, make that a walkway. We don't want a, a parking space backing in the Ventura Bowl. So you've made up my mind for me. Yeah. So I suggest that they come back with the bicycle parking and with better landscaping and knowing that we're favorable to the project, but that they come back and that they show us. Okay. Yeah. Make a motion. That's okay, a motion. I move, I move that we defer a decision on this project and that you come back in one yeah. month with uh, additional information on the landscaping and on the bicycle parking. You want to begin? No, they can't. What's your timeline? It's all committed. Right. Right. Until you get a tenant. So, you, get a tenant. No so you can possible. tell the tenant that we're, we're very faithful. Yeah, and if you have a tenant or a prospective tenant by next month, bring that along with us. Yeah. So you don't waste any time Because I want alcohol to all of stuff. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to see the alcohol license. That's, that's part so of it. The change of use is being held up by the place. That's 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 yeah. Yeah. Nope. That's okay. Can't we make a motion, someone who's bigger than I, that we do want, I mean, we do we want a motion that the change of use. we support the change of use, and, come on, Mikey. I, I, think, I think we, we say that we support the change of use, of use and that we would like to have the applicant come back with landscaping uh, and uh, the bike rack location. I get the sense that we're going to have to go up with the They come back in a month. No, no, we no. didn't say condition the okay. I said that I, th I don't think there's anything wrong with the with approving this use. Personally. I think it's it's an eyesore at the moment, and the whole strip is an eyesore, and it's going to bring an improvement. And it's also going to make Moore Park a little more walkable. You've got that big residential we area. We don't disagree with that. Yeah. So, so I'm just saying that we want a better we want a better plan for the bicycle parking and the landscape. So we can't say we we uh, approve. And do we have to say it's just subject to that, or and? Why well, don't we just say that we approve the, the the change of use, and that the applicant will come back in one month for a review of the uh, landscaping and the bicycle park? So then you can move forward at the same time and come back to us. That so way, the planning comes back to us with the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that works for you. Yeah. So that's a motion. Yeah, that's a motion. We made the motion. We have the motion. He's writing it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we approve uh, the change of use, uh, and the applicant has agreed to come back with landscaping and bike bike parking place. Okay. We keep on the agenda for next. Yes. Yes. Did I second your motion? I second. There's a new motion on the floor, different than the agenda. Would you mind taking uh, public comment? 
we've had, we've had comment. We're past that. If there's a new motion on the floor. We had our public comment period. I'm just on asking this. if you're not going to take it, just say no. Go on. Mr. Kuzman, that's three. Would you please leave? Okay. We'll adjourn for five minutes until Mr. Kuzman clears the room.